I have brought a very interesting topic for you all, organic electronic materials. Nowadays, we are seeing many of the applications where organic word is added to your conventional electronic materials. So let us today see what are they. Hi, I am Neha and I am going to start with the history of this material. As I think the history is equally important and interesting in this case, you will wonder that uh, this particular uh, discovery of conducting polymers, specifically polyaniline, was done in way back 1862 and followed by 1950s. Uh, but later on, I mean, their uh, uh, discovery was forbidden that time and it was not noted properly. Later on, uh, these three scientists discovered and developed similar type of conducting polymers and they got Nobel Prize in 2000 and jointly uh, the study which was uh, discussed earlier in 1970 was also granted that approval. Isn't it that interesting that uh, it has been earlier uh, discovered but not noticed lately? Let us go ahead with what do we understand by basically organic. So it's organic electronics and the other name could be printed electronics, polymer electronics, flexible electronics, plastic electronics and folate flexible organic and large area electronics. So in market, you will find it as polymer electronics and it's basically a branch of electronics, obviously, but with the organic touch. That means the compound here is organic, which is deposited on a flexible substrate. It is called organic because the compounds are carbon based. Now the compounds could be small and could be a polymer molecule. Now, why the organic is coming into market? Because obviously we need to uh, rely on other sources other than inorganic because in inorganic, it's it's more or less uh, lately silicon, uh, which is a trace material and the it is very costly too. So we need to find some alternatives to it and that's what organic is all about. Now, when I say organic, that means carbon based. So I have two options with me. Either I'll go with a small molecule or I'll go with a large molecule. I hope you remember what is polymer. Poly means many and mer means parts. So which is having many parts is a polymer. Basically, monomers combine together to give you a large molecular weight polymer. So small molecule and a large molecular weight compound you can use here. Now, what is the problem or advantage with the small molecule? Both of the things are discussed here. Advantage is that it can be purified by common techniques. So you don't have to uh, give extra effort for that. And vacuum can also be deposited in multilayer sticks. So there is a high, you know, lifetime is high. While the disadvantage is it is a costly process. So polymer came into existence and is specifically conducting polymer, I must say. Now, conducting means they are conducting, right? They are conducting and uh, normally uh, these uh, molecules have alternate single and double bond and that makes it easy to conduct. So, for example, polyacetylene, polyaniline, P dot, polyphenylene, polypyrrole, etc. In fact, I have done my PhD in polyaniline only. I made uh, organic solar cell. So this is very interesting for me, but let me tell you polymers are basically uh, processed from solution and they don't have fixed molecular weight. However, the small molecule do have a fixed molecular weight. So here uh, the advantage is that they could be used to achieve larger display sizes at a very low cost. So cost is the factor which is important here, while the disadvantage is that they are generally of lower Purity. The purity is a concern because when it is a large molecular weight compound, it's a long chain compound, then uh, you have to ensure that the compound is pure, which is difficult. However, it is achievable in a small molecule. Overall benefits, if you see organic electronics are lighter, they are more flexible and less expensive than inorganic. Secondly, they can also be biodegradable. And thirdly, they have very advanced and exciting applications, which are impossible if you use silicon or copper specifically. So, uh, still uh, there are certain obstacles in the market uh, they are still not uh, commercialized yet i must say that the only problem lies in the shorter lifetime as i said they have a stability issue that's the only problem but let us discuss what are the commercial applications available so let me uh, tell you some of the examples the first one is organic light emitting diode oled which you might have seen in the market uh, this is comparatively highly efficient color display as you can see here uh, the image of uh, bendable oled screen designed and developed by samsung and it looks very interesting you know 
Uh, OLED basically uh, is a light emitting diode and in which uh, the emulsive, the emissive layer is basically a film of organic compound uh, which emits light in response to the electric current. So uh, what happens is simple printing methods are used and they can be deposited in this row and column fashion and they are comparatively more efficient. And uh, the main thing is the you are using organic molecules or polymers here as conductive and emissive layer. So they don't need a backlight to function basically. What I'm trying to say is here what happens is the electron and hole pair is generated inside the emissive layer by a cathode and a transparent anode. So when this electron and hole combine, a photon is produced and that will show up as a dot of light on the screen. And that's how many OLEDs together on a screen make up a picture. Obviously, it is less expensive to produce and you can play with the color and angle and it consumes less energy than that of traditional LCDs. But at the same time, as I said, stability is an issue here. So, they do have limited lifetime of their usage and they are susceptible to impurity and specifically through water. Coming to next example is organic transistors. Again, if the word says organic, that means you have to just remember that it is carbon based. Now, it could be a small molecule or it could be a polymer. Now, in case of thin film transistor technology, a separate transistor for each pixel is used in the display. So, each transistor is a small and so the amount of charge needed to control it is also small. That's how uh, the image is stable. So it is compatible with plastic substrate. You can see the flexibility here and overall lower cost is there. However, there is a disadvantage. Again, I'll say the same one that it has a short lifespan. Also, a second example you may consider as organic solar cell. As I told you earlier that I did my PhD in organic solar cell. I made that using polyaniline. Now you can see here how aesthetically pleasing they look. You can play with the flexibility, you can play with the color, etc. And obviously the low production cost is there. So combined with that flexibility, they are actually a good potential for the future. So this uh, third example is organic solar cell. Then you have electronic papers also. Coming to the next application, it would be RFID devices. Standard RFID devices looks like this. However, organic RFID devices have uh, certain potentials because then in that case, you can have a quicker checkout and then you can reduce the waste. Also, there are smart textiles in the market wherein you can integrate electronic devices into textile. And obviously, low fabrication cost is there and then you can monitor many vital signs of your body. So, that's a very interesting application. One more applications are there in terms of sensors when the device is incorporated into a single chip. And it replaces many silicon fabrication method and that's how it's lower in cost because silicon is an alternate. This is an alternative to silicon and it's easier to manufacture and obviously flexibility will always be there when it is organic uh, material like that. So that's also one more thing. It senses so many uh, parameters. Coming to next one is a screen portable and compact that is screen which can roll up into small devices see how pretty it will look and how comfortable it will look when you have such devices in your hand black and white prototype is already made by philips and you can anytime expect the color devices also so uh, with this slide i guess you're able to understand the recent applications of organic electronic material i have discussed many now you may uh, you know go further in whatever field uh, you are like interested in you can go to any field so with that i guess you are able to understand what are electronic materials especially organic and what are their applications i hope you do like the content so please hit like and subscribe for more such videos thank you so much